Glory to God, hallelujah, Saturday night worship service. Oh, I'm so excited. Praise God. Oh, I miss you guys so, so much, beloved church family. I'm so thankful that, that uh, through this past season, I said past, amen, because it's dead and gone. Hallelujah. We're in a new season, amen. And I just want to say thank you so much for your faithfulness in, in, in above all, blessing God, amen, in blessing God the way you have been. Hallelujah. It's, it's, wow, it was a season, amen. But glory to God, we got to be more intimate with our Father. Hallelujah. We got to worship. Amen. And praise God, Holy Spirit taught us and, and guided us and led us. God will never forsake us. He'll never let us go. And it's all because of the Holy One. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Say his name with me. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The name above every name. There's no greater name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I'm just so grateful as far as what's happening. Right now, praise God. As you know by now, I pray you do. Amen. I pray you do that Sunday morning is going to be our first drive-in worship service. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Amen. Drive-in worship service. Praise God. And I'm just so thankful for our elders as far as just being obedient to God Almighty and just watching what Holy Spirit does. Amen. On his beloved church. We're covered by Lord Jesus Christ. You said it. You beat me to it. It's his blood. Amen. It's the blood of God that covers us for all of eternity. We are paid in full. We belong to God our Father. Amen. And Holy Spirit's anointing is flowing through us, his beloved church family. We speak for this community and, of course, this world in Jesus' name. I just thank God right now for, hallelujah, for all that he has done and continues to do. Let's pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much. Glory to you, Father God, for Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God, for your perfect beloved Son, Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you would go to that cross and you would go through it all and you had us on your mind. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for saving us. And thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for giving us Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit, we bless you. You are our only teacher. Oh, we thank you, Holy Spirit, that you live abundantly through us, that we are your holy church, open arms, community church, Father. And I just thank you so much. Holy Spirit, teach us, bless us. We thank you so much for your wisdom, Father God. Thank you, Father, for a fresh anointing. And thank you, Father, for your presence that goes before us and destroys the plots of the enemy. And it's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. And all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Praise God. So as you may notice, Holy Spirit has been teaching me, praise God, in, 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 in trying to get back into our time frames of how this new season is. Praise God. So I ask for your prayers always for that. Glory to God. Holy Spirit's our teacher. Amen. And God's a God of order. Hallelujah. So praise God. I mean, it, it, was, it was a fun season, you know. Hallelujah. Got to do some, some messages almost an hour long. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, over Most of them over 50 minutes. I don't know. I don't look at the times or nothing. But um, just like you, I just, amen. I mean, it's Worship isn't just doing this. Can I get an amen? Worship is every moment of every day. Can I, can I, gosh, praise God. Man, that just took my breath away. Oh my goodness. Right? The magnitude in what Lord Jesus Christ did for us as his church, worship isn't just once a year or it's not narrowed down to a time frame or it's every breath. Amen. Hallelujah. And once again, I know who I'm talking to, Saturday, Saturday night crew. I'm so excited. Praise God. Hallelujah. Are you excited? Say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, praise God. Our worship service tonight is called, Do You Have Grit? Amen. Grit. Love that word. Grit. Amen. And I love this graphic. Praise God. You can't even see the person climbing that mountain. But um, that's what this mountain is supposed to show. Like, do you have grit? Amen. Will you rough it out? Praise God. When you define grit, it says this, firmness of mind or spirit, unyielding courage. Woo, hallelujah. Glory to God. Say it with me. Bless me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. Holy Spirit, overflow. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Unyielding courage in the face of hardship or danger. Firmness of mind or spirit, unyielding courage in the face of hardship or danger. 
See, what I like about this word grit is that sandpaper is measured by the grit. Amen? And when you talk about sandpaper, immediately Holy Spirit took me to this. It's not on your screen or not part of, I mean, not part of what we have right now. But Holy Spirit said, imagine iron sharpening iron. Amen? Hallelujah. Do you have grit? Amen? Glory to God. Say it with me, grit. Amen. And I love it because the only way you can spell integrity, right, is with that word grit. Integrity. Say that word with me. Integrity. Amen. And as you know, integrity, hallelujah, thank you, Holy Spirit. As you know, integrity describes one's character. Amen. Say that with me. Character. Hallelujah. So we just, a few days ago, went over Romans 5.1, and this is just real quick. We are justified. Amen. Who justified us? Say his name and say it proud. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. My Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. However you say it, but you just say his name. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We are justified through our Lord Jesus Christ so that we, say this with me, have peace with God. Hallelujah. Beloved church friends, before I even move forward, Holy Spirit says to charge his holy church with this. God is not mad at you. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? Father God is not mad at you. He loves you. He is head over heels in love with you. He is not mad at you. He knows everything. Amen. And it's these moments right now when we can just bless them. Hallelujah. And just say, sorry, Father. Daddy. Right? Daddy. See, the enemy wants you to keep on running. Because the enemy's deception and lies is God's mad at you. He wants nothing to do with you. Look at where you're at, right? So you do, the enemy's like, you just keep on running. Be disobedient. Keep on doing what you're doing, right? And in all this chaos and all this turmoil, as you're running 100 miles an hour, you don't realize God's right there, right there behind you. Amen? Right there. And the glory of God is he's just waiting for you to stop. Amen? Say it with me. Stop. Hallelujah. So let's get right into this. We're going to go right over the next verse. Amen? Hallelujah. <laughs> glory to God. The beauty is I know who I'm talking to. We are one body in Lord Jesus Christ. You are my brothers and my sisters in Christ. For all of eternity, we're going to worship our Father God. God Almighty. For all of eternity... And I just love the laughter. I love just like, you know, I love the looks we give each other. Like, oh my goodness, right? It's all Holy Spirit. Amen? It, it amazes me because of the fact that how the written word, amen, how the written word, words on paper, right? How God will make that come to life. Amen? And this is the beauty of agape. He doesn't only make it come alive. But he'll make it come alive in you through Holy Spirit anointing. And the word of God will change you. Amen. And the fruits that you bear. Hallelujah. The words that you speak. Amen. The power of God Almighty through you. Amen. Lines up to the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So let's, let's just give God praise. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Through whom we have gained access by faith. So who is our faith? Lord Jesus Christ, amen, into this grace. So who is God's grace? You nailed it, Holy Spirit, in which we now stand. How do we stand firm? Praise God, the gospel of peace, amen. This is the gospel of peace, the gospel, hallelujah, of agape, of Lord Jesus Christ. Good news, amen. I got good news, remember, I got good news. What is it? Huh? What is it, amen, right? It's like, it's like my dogs at home. You say treat, and they're like, what? Right? They could be busy. They don't listen to you. I, I, I'm just telling you right now. My dogs don't listen. But the moment, the moment Trish says treat, oh, my goodness. All ears, all attention, right? Isn't that so sweet? <laughs> treat. And this is the glory of God, is that when God says that we stand in the gospel of peace, when you hear this word peace, immediately a beloved child of God knows ah, it's agape, agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. My God, hallelujah. Oh, my God, my Father, my Abba, my Abba Father. 
my Lord Jesus Christ, amen? All what he went through for me, amen? Oh, how he loves me, amen? Holy Spirit, my peace, grace, amen? Hallelujah. Access by faith into this grace in which we now stand, and we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Hallelujah. What is glory? You nailed it. You beat me to it. I wore the favorite shirt, amen, for tonight. So you could agape, amen. The glory of God is his view and opinion of your life. That is the ultimate revelation in your worship life through Lord Jesus Christ. And his name is Holy Spirit in you and in me. Only God can give you this revelation that you are my child. I am head over heels in love with you. I paid for you. You know the price that was paid. And you know he did it. Lord Jesus Christ did it. Done did it. Amen. Because he loves you. And because we will now make our home in you. Amen. Say it with me. Hallelujah. Agape. Praise God. So this is the glory of God, amen? Remember, Lord Jesus Christ is the faith, and the grace of God is his very presence, amen? That's the bottom line. Holy Spirit presence is the grace of God. Holy Spirit is grace, amen? Grace has a name. His name is Holy Spirit. Grace is not a credit card, family. Grace is not a permission slip so that you can do whatever you want in disobedience and say, well, I got grace, Right? That does not exist. What exists is Holy Spirit. Can you get an amen? And Holy Spirit is the one that seals us for all of eternity. He is God Almighty. Amen? A new covenant church covered, paid for by Lord Jesus Christ, covered by his blood. We have this grace through Holy Spirit in this relationship. Hallelujah. Say that with me, church. Relationship with God. And in this relationship with God, he gives us Holy Spirit. He speaks to us through Holy Spirit. We have this relationship, and I pray that we're obedient when we hear Holy Spirit, and we just want to bless God through worship. This is how we glorify the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Woo! Hallelujah! Praise God. Say it with me, glory. So when we talk about this glory, I'd like to explain a little bit more, because I have been getting questions as far as people saying, well, I'm, I, I'm, I'm starting to understand as far as personal glory in how God views me, but I want to know more about God's glory in, in, in the sense of as far as his presence. And I said, well, hallelujah, praise God. Saturday night worship service, amen. God is good all the time, hallelujah. So let's get into this, praise God. Let's talk about the glory of God's suffering, okay? So we... We talked about this, and we're not going to get off of it because Holy Spirit says he wants us to spend quite some time in this, in the preparation of the trumpet, amen, of getting raptured out of here, amen. We have to, we have to meditate in worship of how God our Father suffered, suffered even before Lord Jesus Christ came. Can I get an amen? And how he suffered in how we treated God in denying him, amen. And it's in this suffering... It's in this suffering that Father God, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, agape, what they went through because, say this with me, of me. Remember, it's personal, amen? So we're taking that glory, the inner glory of Holy Spirit in the Holy of Holies in you and in me as a beloved child of God, amen? The glory of God, the Father. Hallelujah, say that with me, Father. Say it like this, Abba. Ooh, hallelujah, Abba. He is our Father God, amen? All because of Lord Jesus Christ, He is our good and perfect Father. And it's in that glory that agape is within that it shines. Why? Because your thoughts meditate on the glory of God in how much He loves you and how much He loves me, amen? Now, when we, when we make this transition in the glory of God and His suffering, we got to keep in mind that when God was suffering even before Lord Jesus Christ, this is the life-changing revelation Holy Spirit will give us as we worship God Almighty, being transparent with our thoughts. Being transparent in approaching Him only covered by the blood, clothed in Lord Jesus Christ. Not religion, right? 
not religion, not know-it-all, not, not reciting scripture, right? It's God's word. God knows the whole word. It's his word. Can I get an amen, church? Far too often we think that re repeating scripture after scripture after scripture is, is, is a way to obtain something. I'm going to tell you right now, Lord Jesus Christ already done did it. Amen? So as long as you have Lord Jesus Christ, it's already done did. Now God is asking as a beloved child of God, will you be transparent with me so that my glory, hallelujah, will shine through you like never before. Amen? So when we glorify in the sufferings of God, we can see as a father what he went through. We can see the mercy of the father when here comes Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We can see the sufferings of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Not only, now amen, not only when he had to leave heaven. See, a lot of people don't even meditate on that. But Holy Spirit will take you there. Can I get an amen? Holy Spirit will take you there. You can't imagine as far as heaven, where we all are. Glory to God. Where we all want to be. Amen. Where we all are. Where we all is. Praise God. That's our eternal home. But he left heaven to come here. Oh my goodness, right? Glory to you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And then we think about the sufferings of Holy Spirit. Right now, I'm confessing to you right now. When I hurt Holy Spirit, when I don't listen to Holy Spirit, right? I'll say everything. I'll confess everything when I get lazy with Holy Spirit, right? When I don't trust, when I start to worry. These are right now sufferings of God, and guess where it's at? Here, in the Holy of Holies. And this is the glory of suffering. Can you get an amen? Say that with me, the glory of suffering. Let's get into this, perseverance. Say that word with me. Hallelujah. Perseverance. Praise God. Powerful word in Jesus' name. Amen. Perseverance has a name. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. His name is Agape. Amen. And this perseverance was nailed. Agape was nailed, tortured, pierced, spat on, hair, hair pulled from his face, thorns driven on his skull, naked, drug in the dirt. God went through that for you and me. And he persevered through this so that he can crucify sin. So he could put an end to death. Hallelujah. And there was a payment that needed to be made because of all of our wrongdoing, because of all of our disobedience. Remember, because of all the suffering that we put God through, Lord Jesus Christ left heaven to pay for it all. And he crucified it through his perfect body as a perfect sacrifice. Is your Lord Jesus Christ perfect? Hallelujah. My Lord Jesus Christ is perfect for all of eternity. Hallelujah. Say with me, my Lord, my Savior, my Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. There's no greater name, beloved family. And say with me, this is agape for me. Praise God. Say this with me, character, hallelujah. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty, amen? Grit, hallelujah, grit. Identity overflowing, hallelujah. This is the identity overflowing in a beloved child of God, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. And this is his fruit manifested in you and in me, amen? And this is the glory which God just mentioned right now that's in us, the glory of Father God in us, right? When the choice is made as a beloved child of God to crucify thoughts, and I'm going to consume my thinking, my thoughts on you, Lord Jesus. And as I do that, Holy Spirit, I bless you. I worship you. And Father, you, you live this life. Amen? Can you join me with, with, with that? Can we say it together as Open Arms Community Church? Hallelujah. Say this with me. Father God, this is your life, your temple, Open Arms Community Church is your church. Live abundantly through me. In Jesus' name. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. And this is the temple of Holy Spirit in you and in me. And all this, we talked about the suffering of God. We talked about the perseverance of God. We talked about the character of God. Hallelujah. Who is agape? Amen. Who is agape? Hallelujah. You see it on the screen. Amen. And praise God. This is just Holy Spirit's way of just ministering to us, teaching us. Glory to God. Because guess what? I know you know you're going to beat me to it. I am a soul. I am a spirit. I am a body. Amen. And whose body you belong to? Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And so when we say things like this, it's all in the order of God and how Holy Spirit anointing is teaching us so that we know, we know that we overcome this world because of agape, his holy presence in us. Amen. And I love this. We're going to get into verse 3, Romans 5. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character. Come on now. We just covered that. That's all agape. Amen. The suffering, the perseverance, and the character. Amen. We showed everything as far as Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and we call that agape. Amen. But this is what it boils down to. Say this word with me. Hope. Hope. You see, this hope is a peace that was paid for at the ultimate price, Lord Jesus Christ. This hope that we have, that you and I have, as long as Jesus Christ is your Lord, is far supernatural that I'll tell you right now, this world doesn't know nothing about. Only a beloved child of God, through Lord Jesus Christ, and the anointing of Holy Spirit in you and in me shows this hope. Amen? Romans 15, 13. We're going to jump down to Romans 15. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you, say it with me, trust in him. Do you trust in Lord Jesus Christ? Amen? Now, beloved church family, Holy Spirit just said right now, say this. When you say you trust, but then something is making you do things that is against that trust. God right now is rebuking that and exposing double-mindedness. Can I get an amen? Being double-minded. Amen? Because if, if I said to you, I'm just so tired, I need to sit down, right? If I said, hey, let me grab this real quick. Praise God. I got this chair right here. You probably can't see it on your screen. But I'm just going to put it here anyway. And I said to you, I'm so tired, I just need to sit down. And you said, Brother Joey, there's a chair right there. Sit down. Right? Sit down. Say that with me. Sit down. But then I look at it, and the chair looks kind of suspect. Right? Maybe it's a little wobbly. Right? I'm going to tell you, you know what, I, I trust you, but it just don't look right. And when I sit there, I'm just going to fall over. I'm a pretty big guy. But then you say, well, no, it just looks like that. But trust me, I'm bigger than you. Or I'm the same size as you. Whatever. I sit in all the time, and it's fine. It's in that relationship with that person that I'm talking to. Rela say that word with me, relationship. It's in that relationship, in that exchange, that if I have a relationship with that person, right, amen, if I have a relationship with that person, then I'm going to hear and say, oh, okay, and then I'll just, bloop, right, sit down. However, if I'm talking to somebody that I don't know, right, and the person says, well, yeah, it looks suspect, well, it's up to you. Then I'm just telling you, I'll just be like, no, I'm good, I'll just stand. Right? In the same way, say that with me, same way. In the same way, God wants us to trust in Lord Jesus Christ. And it's in that trust in the relationship that we have with Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will speak to us and he'll rebuke 
being double-minded, or any type of confusion that only comes from the evil one, right? The enemy, the enemy that wants to create confusion, the enemy that wants to put out distractions, hallelujah. And in glory to God that we have this anointing from God that he exposes everything. And he gives us the ability to make a choice right now, amen? Do we choose to trust in Lord Jesus Christ? And the reason why this is so important, God wants to just pause right there real quickly, is because listen to what takes place afterwards. God says, you trust in me? All right, you will now overflow with hope. Say that word with me, hope. By the power of, let's all say his name, Holy Spirit. Amen? So what kills hope? Doubt. Pride. Disobedience. Amen? When you know that God is saying, you are not confused, there is no question, you know what you should not be doing, do not do it. Glory to God, in Jesus' name, pray for me. I don't want to do it. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to think about it no more. How do you not think about anything anymore, Pastor, that keep on coming back in your thoughts? You just think of, you, many of you beat me to it, you just think of Lord Jesus Christ. Plead his blood, amen? Put pictures up on your computer, on your phone, right? If your problem is on your phone all the time, put a, put a screenshot on your phone of Lord Jesus Christ on the cross, right? Glory to God, put it in your face, amen? Just put it right there, hallelujah. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, when you put the glory of God in front of you, God himself will say, oh, good choice. I will bless you because you trust me. And watch what I will do because it only takes place in his holy presence, amen? Continues on, verse five, and hope does not put us to shame, amen? Perfect timing as always, because God's love, say his name, Lord Jesus Christ, has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has given to us, amen? Been given to you and I, amen? And say with me, hope, amen? And it's in this hope, it's in this hope that builds character, praise God. It's in this hope, in agape, amen? When we trust in Lord Jesus Christ, Glory to God. When we truly trust Lord Jesus Christ, we praise God the way we, listen, we all worship differently. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We all worship differently. That is the anointing Holy Spirit has on his church here at Open Arms Community Church. We just worship God freely in a relationship. Amen. In a relationship grounded in the written word of God, but above all, above all, Holy Spirit. Say his name, Holy Spirit. And we trust in Lord Jesus Christ. And it's in this hope that builds character within us because it's his presence, amen? It's his presence that convicts thoughts that we shouldn't be having. And glory to God, it's in that conviction that we can use the power, the power of God that Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated in how to repent. How do, how do we repent? Lord Jesus Christ made it so simple. I plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, I lift up your name. I bless you, Lord Jesus Christ, that in this temple, as your beloved child, you are my Lord and my Savior, and I lift you up. And Holy Spirit, as I lift up the name above every name, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, I thank you that you are my God, that you flow. Amen. Glory to God. Do you have grit? Amen. Do you have grit? Praise God. I love that word grit, once again. Because do you have that passion? Amen? Do you have that passion, that fire, far, I like to say far. Do you have that Holy Spirit far in you? Amen? See, during this past season, yes, it's all dead and gone. Praise God, we're in a new season now. In this past season, glory to God, I had the opportunity to, to, to minister and talk to quite a few people. And one thing was common is that the wake-up call was, so many became religious with God. And it was worship, but it was only worship because the building was open. And then there are some, quite a lot, that fell away. And it was a wake-up call this past season 
because they got lazy with God. God right now is asking. We are now in this new season. And beloved church family, it's time now. It's time now. Say it with me, now. That we bless God with such a passion that truly He is our number one. And that we will do anything and everything that He asks us to do. And we will do it with a cheerful heart. Amen? Not looking to the left or right. No. Just looking unto the Father. Because everything of what Lord Jesus Christ did for you and me. Amen? Praise God. Do you receive that today? Hallelujah. Say it with me. Hope. Amen. Glory to God that hope lives on the inside. Hallelujah. And Holy Spirit overflows. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow morning. Oh, I'm so excited. Praise God. If you want to bless God with your offering, please. Amen. In Jesus' name, go to oacchurch.com. OACchurch.com. Amen. And over there you can give your offering unto the Lord. God bless you a hundredfold with your offering. And I just thank you so much for the choice that you made to bless God Almighty first, to love Him with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Amen. And to be, to be a blessing to, to everybody. Amen. To allow agape to overflow. Hallelujah. God bless you. I love you. I miss you so much, Trish, and I pray for you guys every day. We're so excited to see you all. I know you'll, you'll all be in your cars and everything, but it is, we're just so excited of this new season. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Love you so much, church family. Praise God. See you tomorrow morning. Hallelujah. God bless you guys.